Oh, can I look up the cast before we no, start? No, no. So what do you mean? No, no, no. <laughs> but when you don't let me do that. Stop. I... Stop. Not. Don't even read. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. <laughs> I'm ready. The final countdown. To <laughs> what a burst of an intro. Because it's our final one. It's Final Destination 5. We love this franchise. We hear this one's going to be great. Final countdown. That's my prediction for what song's going to be in this. You got one, Greg? I'm going to wait to see what it looks like the disaster disaster death is going to be and then i will call the first thing that comes to mind okay I take back what i said and i'm going to do that too i want to really quick thank all you guys of course for being here this has been one of the most fun franchises to cover been loving it and craig perry craig baby. perry who's been in our comment boxes showing us love and i appreciate also the encouragement to let us uh, be openly critical about some stuff we don't feel like we need to mince our words whatsoever yeah overall, he's kind of agreed with us i'm loving it i know it. but overall love the franchise and i already can't wait for part six even no, we haven't seen part five yet. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Ooh, I'm loving the dance moves on this right now. Also, be a patron. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you should become a patron if you're not already. We have full-length reaction watch logs where you sync up with your own copy. And that's how you can be a super sexy reject. Uh, I remembered every word of it, Greg. Yeah, you didn't read it at all. It didn't even look like it. No. <laughs> yeah. Greg and John cover several shows over there exclusively with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. Let's do it. Okay, guessing who's in it. Just thinking of names right now Adam, Brian, Christopher. Daniel. Did they el Eli? eliminate the three D? I totally hear you, Roxy. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah! Oh no, no, they're giving you the cast Nicholas. list uh, early. Dear Gosto. Okay, let me no. remember his name. <laughs> Remembering it, Nicholas. I don't know who you are, but I will. <gasps> Emma Bell. Emma Bell, Emma Bell, that sounds familiar. Miles Fisher. Ooh, that name sounds actually familiar. That's gonna bother me. Mm, Miles Fisher. I know that name. Could be Miles Teller's long lost. Courtney B. Vance, he's huge. Courtney B. Vance, let's go, Courtney B. Vance. Arlene Esca Escarpeta. Good. Have you seen Good the, pronunciation. The People right? versus OJ. Uh, David Cochner. Oh yeah. <laughs> David Cochner. Oh, I know him. He's a comedian. Yeah. Comedian. I know him. He's yeah. funny. He's a funny guy. And Tony, and Tony Todd. Todd! Are there clues in this intro we're missing? So well, we saw skulls. We saw shattered glass. We saw what looked like a hot dog, <laughs> but I don't think was. This is a dynamite. Is that uh, a hot dog? I'm going to guess the song, We Didn't Start the Fire. Ooh. That's a really good guess. Uh, no, no, no. I'm going to go with The Doors, Light My Fire. Ooh, that's a really good guess, too. All I can think of is Bruce, I'm on Fire, or Bruce Fire. But I don't think this movie's going to use a Bruce Springsteen song. Just not... Craig Perry, our dude! Let's go, Craig! <laughs> Get it, Craig! This is when Prepper has the most fun editing. Uh, okay. Barbecue? A picnic, yeah. A breakfast picnic. Ooh, waffle Are bar. they on set? Isn't this amazing? Thanks, man. Just uh, remember that when you see my sales report for last month. Oh, I saw it last night. Shit. It's okay, man. To make a decision. Miles Fisher. Is that him? Yeah. I recognize him from what? He looks like Christian Bale, and he's played Christian Bale a lot on YouTube videos. Your ticket's canceled. I was going to tell you after this weekend. Uh, tell me what? Oh, no. That I, I don't think it's such a good idea. What, the trip? What? Why not? Heartbreaker. It's not working out, Sam. You hate to hear it. At least you didn't ghost. The ghost didn't even exist then? But that 12.30 curfew tonight, you should plan on breaking that. Why? For the naked team building. Ooh! Naked team building, Ooh. baby! You get that, it? We're going to see some boobies. That's what we do with all our interns here at Real Rejects. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that about your poor <laughs> intern. Hey, Olivia. Don't forget these. I love that name. That was cute. <laughs> We got a gig on uh, Sunday. Yeah, I'll be there. I already think this movie is better. It's just paced better. <laughs> I'm knowing the characters. Do you actually get paid for this internship, or does Daddy just increase your allowance? If you want to get rid of that baby fat, you should try the gym. Yes, that baby fat. Yeah, I know. She's disgusting. They're called. I love this movie. There's things that are keeping me interested. You know. 
How many things? Two things. <laughs> two predominant things. The glasses. Yeah. <laughs> We're told like I'm a really, really good listener by a lot of ladies. Shh, wait, don't say anything. Tell me it's the camera from last Tuesday. <sighs> when people say shh to me, I want to punch them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm sorry. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Whammy. I want to be on the road in 90 seconds. Uh, well, I just saw his car, so I'll go track him down. Way to show some initiative, Stan. It's going to be a good day. You know what this intro is doing a really good job at doing is, is settling you into this genre. Not the horror part of it. Like, it's it's just being yeah, this the, does the world that it is right now before the horror happens. I think that's really good. The other ones are just like, we're already in a this? horror movie. What would you call this genre? I don't know. Just some, like, comedy? Yeah, kind yeah. Of, yeah. No? Kind of, totally. Comedy? Yeah. What are they going to offer you that permanent gig at the restaurant? They already did. They want to send me to the flagship restaurant in Paris for who knows how long. Could be six months. Could be a year. In Paris? Is this a prequel? Why is the next one in Paris? No, the first one was oh. in <laughs> prequel. I'm with you. That's a good prediction. There's got to be some t- big twist in this or through line, connective tissue. Here we go. Hey, Sam. A bus crash? Is that what we're going to get? Oh, what are those for? It's just something I do to relax me and for luck. Luck. You're in the bathroom. Sir, falls the new black. Okay, so his initial seat is up there, but now his seat's back here. Is that what threw it off? I feel like it's usually a choice from the main character that throws no, it off. No, I know, but remember the plane from the first one, we uh, know where your seat ends up is where you die. And that's We got logs again. Are we going to get, like, some amalgamation of all the other ones? Maybe. Gloomy day, Greg. Gloomy day. I think the cinematography is so much better. Also, when is this? Because it just seems like it's way more modern. Oh, snap. Clever. Really give the audience a sense of how far that fall is. Dust in the wind. Mm, I didn't predict. We this, did not call like that. It, we did yeah. not call it. Maybe sail on. I think dust sail in the away. wind was the was the chance we had to predict something. Sail away from me, honey. What the hell? Or float on. Oh, interesting. So this is going to be more of a weather effect. Where in the elements? The elements, man. All right. Okay, budget. All right, this looks good. Molly, come on! Uh, I don't Molly, give a shit about you guys. Just you. you. <laughs> I know that you don't want to be with me, but I will Damn. save you. Great shot. Yeah. Oh, why, where, why is she going that way? That was not a smart, bad intern. There's oh, a crash. Oh, oh, oh. Ugh. Okay, 3D. That was, was it 3D? I can't tell. It felt 3D. What the fuck? No, no. Holy moly. Are there people on the bus still? I think they just have one guy. Oh. Oh, that's a great shot. Oi, oi, oi. Damn, that's a hell of a shot right there. That was cool. Oh, are your boobs okay? Oh, shit. Are your glasses okay? <laughs> Wow, there's like a real disaster movie. The bridge is so thin. We can do this. We can do this. You can do what? Why are you guys going that way? I'm so... They got to cross it. Oh. Go ahead. They can't go the other way? If you pencil down, can you survive that fall? No, I don't think so. I think it's like cement when you hit. Good for you, Molly. Help me! Oh. Wow. Do you feel it? Follow this to Molly's voice, all right? Follow it to Molly. Come on, you're 
I mean, Shaky. I feel like you can see, right? Yeah. No. But maybe uh, it, those would help her float? Olivia. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Molly, grab her. No. Oh, like a slide. Maybe she survived. Would yeah. it let her float? Yeah, it's helping her float. No, no, don't get hit by the car. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Okay, but what that taught us is that if you go down, you can survive. Oh. This is an interesting concept because maybe she's the only one in his vision who doesn't die. Yeah. And therefore she's safe for the movie. Oh no, how unfortunate. Uh, hot tar. Oh, uh, way to go, Tom Cruise. Damn, good jump. The effects are amazing. So maybe their lives aren't at risk. Maybe they all three made it, no matter what. Damn, what a shot. These are really good effects. Oh no! Climb it like a ladder. Ah. Oh, oh. Ah. oh, the eye. I think this was in 3D. <laughs> like a paint can. Oh shit! Okay, so he's the main guy for. Yeah, sure. we knew. I predicted this would come on again. <laughs> In my head. We all gotta get off. The bridge is gonna collapse. What? We're all gonna die. What the hell is going on? <laughs> We're all gonna die if we don't get off this bridge now. What if nothing would you actually listen? happens? That'd be crazy. Would you listen, yes or no? No, I wouldn't. If somebody who's, that you knew said we're all gonna die if you don't get off this bridge, you wouldn't get off. No, I would think that they're just having an anxiety attack about something. Hey, Sam? Molly? Peter, please, just follow! Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. What the hell is going on out here? Do you still think that it's gonna be okay? No. I don't know, I just gotta wait for some like other twist. <laughs> yeah. Come on! Why would you stop running? Because they're on solid ground now or something. You know, they're not where the bridge is. So they just wanna watch. Why wouldn't you get your cell phone and record this? How did you know? Damn, they all survived. Not all of them. Everyone on the bus every, survived. Every single person got off? Yeah. I saw it collapse. I knew it would happen. I had a vision. Psychic phenomena. You. I don't know how. I just did. Came out of nowhere. Did Sam have issues with authority? Did he ever? This is harkening back more to part one. This inner cutting in the yeah. interrogation room. And people thinking it's his fault. You see him talk to anyone that morning on a cell phone, pay phone? Just his girlfriend. But that was in person. X. Good golly, Miss Molly. Tell me about the breakup. <laughs> You're still obsessed with fighting. I think we're done with the song choice. That's personal. That's personal. You chalk it up to high winds and structural damage from the road construction. High winds? Yeah. We're sending everyone home. High winds? Have high winds ever caused that much of a structural damage on a freeway before? I mean, I maybe if there is a tsunami or something, like yeah. tornado. Among the survivors were eight employees of Presage Paper on their way to a business retreat. The other 17 employees were killed in the collapse. They died on the bus. Uh, there was another bus. What? The, our main characters survived. Yeah, I knew that, but you said everyone. I, didn't, I forgot about the other guys. Presage, baby. Presage paper. Maybe this is in the same universe as The Office. Dunder Mifflin. Yeah. You heard the news? It's natural causes. Yeah, more like supernatural. We cannot have more than one black person in these movies. <laughs> the surviving teens. Hey, we got a black cop <laughs> and now 
We got two black people. We should all just put it behind us and be grateful we're still alive. Man, the eyebrows on him. I was seeing that. Eyebrows and dimples. Killer. Yeah, he's handsome, huh? Maybe you work next to them. Maybe you work for them. But we all work with them. Huh? This one's feeling like a very refined version of the other ones, but it's still going through the same beats. So I'm waiting to see, like, you know what I mean? It's not feeling like a major drama. Tony Todd. Yeah. Doesn't like to be cheated. Tell him early. You all just be careful now. Okay. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> just so elusive. Do you think that's it's all just, we'll see? Him? Just never elusive into what's going on. No, there's got to be something but more to him. I, I feel like he is some yeah. kind of supernatural yeah. entity. He's some entity of sort. He can't, he can't just be some guy. Well, what's the matter with it? Said it was flat. No flavor. Do they want something else? Yeah. The check. I would hate to work in a restaurant. That customer is an asshole. The bourguignon is good. Oh, he's looking out for him. Yeah, but also don't eat something that the customer has eaten. You've never done that before? Have you? No. You have? Oh, well, no. I mean, have sometimes it's just a plate of fries. You know? <laughs> it's just like, it's free fries. I don't want to wait for our lives no. to be... No. In your eyes, boombox outside. That's not how improv works. You don't just go no. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is that my life is pretty plain. This was good. And I, I shut you down. Yeah. Did she die in the first vision? I know he died, but did she make it? She did make yeah. it. Yeah. Or at least he didn't see her die. Man, they really took note of the last one of being like super fucking fast, and they they really taking their time with this one. Thank you. Listen. They're letting that gloomy vibe like wash over this whole movie. Getting you to safety. You are the only thing I care about, Molly. She cheated on him. Paris. We talked about that. I'm not going to uproot my life for that job. But it's the only thing you've ever dreamed of. Uh. Life is too short, Sam. You, you have to go after what you love. You can't make somebody else's choices for them, Molly. I do like her now, though. Rachel stayed behind. I gave up her the dreams <laughs> <laughs> to be in love. <laughs> And I rooted for it. We all did, <laughs> without realizing that Rachel gave up her dreams. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm not ready. I don't feel ready. Oh, my God. She's about to die. I think you got this. Really? Yeah. I mean, you love it out there. Ooh, she's going to fall and break her neck or something? Yeah, something disgusting is going to happen. Gymnastic injuries are gnarly. I do think this one so far is doing the best at letting the grieving element actually wash over all the characters. There we go. Oh, no. Could be a red herring. They've got to make it cooler or we're going to pass out. They're working on it. You're going to regret asking for that, lady. Why does he seem like a villain? <laughs> Come on, Candace. You got this. Chalk y'all hands. Actually being supportive to each other. I thought they were just like a, a sexual fling, and then they're actually like dating, dating. Now. Oh no, it broke. It's bad luck. Bad luck. Oh. Sizzle, sizzle, scorch, scorch. Now I pass the torch. The ballots are in, and one girl had to win. Oh, good frame. This actress must actually be a gymnast or a dancer because she looked legit. Oh, no. Oh, no. That would be so yeah. painful. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. <gasps> I hate it. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I've stepped on a nail before, and it is not a pleasant feeling. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those tiny day they're fucking with you so much. <laughs> Looks like a little screw, right? That's good. Oh, you know how to mess you on the sound design. No, 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 no. It's I'm good. Gonna... 
Be good. Oh no. Nicely done, Candace. <laughs> Jeez. I'm ever, super glad she didn't step on that. Have screw. you ever stepped on a nail? It's really painful, no, man. No, I don't think so. Here we go, Candace. Stay loose. <laughs> That's funny. Screw loose. Oh no, she's gonna hurt herself on the thing. <laughs> the way they shoot that makes it look like yeah, it's really cleverly done. <laughs> Looking good, Candace. Somebody, she's gonna scream. That's what's gonna happen. She's gonna scream, and then it's gonna throw her off. The other girl's gonna step on the nail. Candace's gonna get thrown off. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Love the disorienting shot there. What is that? Ah! Somehow these screws are gonna come together, dude. No, what? No, 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 no. Ah! Okay. Oh no, oh no. Wow, wow. Ah! <laughs> that was gnarly. Oh my God, holy shit. <laughs> that was fucking insane. Call 911 uh, Candace. <laughs> Bro, she's a pretzel. Yo, that was that was great. I knew it was gonna be the other girl threw her off and the <laughs> That was great. The way they ex that's so much tension and the build to that and then the way it all like actually collapsed. That was really well done. Let's see if they do what you wanted, which is have the boyfriend actually mourn. She was doing great. She was almost finished with her routine and then why why did it happen? Why does life happen? It's okay, Peter. It's okay that you're a pumpkin eater. Oh. Tony Todd is back. Okay, so yeah, maybe he's just some like angel of death thing, yeah. I feel like you've got something with Paris. Yeah, that's a bummer about Candace. Guess we all should have seen that coming. Is that a dig? At what? But you see the crazy shit those gymnasts do? I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often. Oh, she's Can so insensitive. Candace was mean to her, though, remember? She told her to lose the baby weight. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's warranted what she said? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Same level. Facility manager's dead. Dennis, you want me to fly someone up there? It's funny because he works. He's in the office, too. <laughs> that is funny, Greg. Oh, isn't that funny? <laughs> oh, Debbie. Debbie Downer. You were so naughty. Oh, okay. What is he putting in his pockets? I don't know. I have no idea what he's doing. He is creepy. He's going to get himself killed. Is he just randomly stealing shit? Yeah, I guess all attacks. Oh, he was the second one to die, right? I think so. You shouldn't have, buddy. I actually don't know the order of... I just know the last three were eyebrows. Who wants one? Where'd you get these? I stole it. I got something better. Uh-oh. Our manga, though... Seems to have adjusted to the fact that he had a pretty crazy premonition, you know? What? I'm surprised the main guy is not, like, stuck on the fact that he had a big uh -oh. premonition. Yeah, yeah. How's well, he going to die in a spa? Romantic dinner, you know, somewhere maybe outside the city. Hold up. I got to go. He's so creepy. I know. If he was really good looking, it wouldn't be as creepy. You know what I found out? Roxy's never had a massage before. That's true. <gasps> That's insane. Yeah. Kind of freaked out by it. Ironic massage. This is a family operation. This professional experience ends uh, happy. I know exactly what you need. I hope she rips his dick off. Yeah, you have a lovely little canter. Oh, yum, yum, dim sum. Okay. She gonna put him with a dude? Big dude. <laughs> Why is this guy such a dick? Yeah, he's the worst. You're going the wrong way there, little lady. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Do you come with subtitles? Gosh. Ow! Oh, she's doing like chiropractic stuff. Whoa. Ow! You're a little aggressive there, don't you think? Come here. What's coming? You're a little aggressive. Is not how massages usually go, by the way. But I don't want you to be scared. See, this is why I don't want a massage. massage. I want to drink with my coworkers. <laughs> massages are great. They're necessary. No. Oh. 
Ooh, the shattered glass, like the opening. It says scariest roller coaster on it. I did see that. That's a reference to the roller coasters yeah. of love. She dies doing something that she's done almost every day for the last 15 years of her life. She said she didn't want to do it, and I should have stopped her. No, you're being supportive, honey. Oh, sad boy. There wasn't anything you could have done. How do you know? Okay, helpful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, becoming a villain. Not hot. Doesn't he seem like, he seems like a young Tom Cruise? Peter just freaked out about something. I don't know what. Does that mean anything? You told me to call if I saw anything odd. <laughs> For a movie that's so serious, sometimes the comedy seems kind of very out of place. I could try it a hundred times and never recreate exactly what happened here. Oh, God! Was that his? I think it's his thigh. May Yunga Felo. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And acupuncture? Is that what that is? I think so. I've never done acupuncture. Me I thought they were thinner than that. You know, I do Weird. like how smart the cop is, how he's not just writing it off. Like, he feels like there's actually something happening here. You understood that. You speak English. Two billion people can't be Wong. Two, what? Ah. Two billion people can't be Wong. Oh. The joke is that... I get it. Get you wrong. wrong. I thought I said two banging people. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. It's... Ugh. Great. So the table's going to break, and those are going to all go super far inside him? I heard acupuncture is great for you. It's not very nice, you know. I constantly have shoulder and back pain. Craig. <laughs> ah, don't move. It's going to go in his eye or something. I just can't, Greg. It's Third like, eye. Yeah. It reminds me of the dentist scene. <laughs> you look so uncomfortable, Richard. <laughs> 30 minutes. You it. sleep. The table breaks. And then he's uh, and just, Greg, just stop it. Just stop the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. I know what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Table's going to break, and then he's going to fall, and those are all going to go into him, and he's going to die, bro. That's a lot of candles for one massage room. Yeah, probably something with fire, too, my dude. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. Fire! Get up. It's usually not as bad as you imagine it to be. Actually, sometimes it's way worse. <laughs> Why isn't he getting up? I think he's like slightly paralyzed. Oh, there it is. Knew it, 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 Greg, knew it, knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. He's gonna light on fire, bro. I mean, he should still be alive, yeah. <laughs> Ew, that is gross. No, I don't wanna see his face. Don't show me his face. <laughs> Dude, get out of the room. Get out of the room. Get out bro. of the room. I thought that the acupuncture needles were so much thinner than that. Nah, but for cinematic purposes, they need to be disturbing. <sighs> no. Oh, his phone. Guess he's going to go back for his phone. Shut the front door. Oh, shit. <laughs> what a dumbass. Yeah, it's like right there. Oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't so bad. I asked you to stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Tony Todd. See, at this point, I would be like going right up to Tony Todd and be like, what the hell is going on? Why are you following us? What are you doing? I do Ask more questions. Yeah. Lucky few survive the disaster, and then one by one, death. Comes for them all. Mm -hmm. We're doomed to die? You were supposed to die on that bridge. You're not supposed to be here. He actually sounds sympathetic. Death, have somebody else in your place, and then you take their spot in the realm of the living, and they take your place in death. We kill someone, we get their life. I don't make the rules. Interesting. This is about to be the purge. He, uh, he laid it out pretty clear for the first time. Yeah, but those haven't been the rules every time. Yeah, I know, but he, he actually like was pretty direct about it. And now it's coming after the rest of us. No, not all of us. She is. Molly made it. She didn't die. When I had that vision, 
I got you across before the bridge collapsed. Because you decided that she deserved to live more than the rest of us? Well, apparently you deserve to live more than Candace. Hey, whoa. So unreasonable. <laughs> I see that it's been quite a while since your first consultation. Uh, a lot is going on in my life, and um, I don't want to miss anything. Lee sick? No. I think she is the next one on the list. And then the black guy's after her. Going to die during LASIK? This is like the dentist all over again. Damn, this movie is doing everything I wanted to do. I wanted to go get acupuncture and I want a LASIK. I'm gently going to position your head. Oh, that's cool. That's one word for it, Greg. I can't move my head. Here comes a drop. And you will feel... I actually can't watch half this movie. It's just an eye drop. <laughs> Grammy has to get shots in her eyes. Oh, my God. Every month. That sounds horrible. Yeah, she's a trooper. Oh, okay. All right, this might no. be a little much. Greg, Greg, this Greg. Might be a little much. <laughs> Greg, Greg, fast <laughs> forward. Greg. Greg, fast forward. We are forward not the fast forwarding through anything. Fast forward the you goddamn movie. You look at the goddamn movie. screen, Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> goddamn movie, Greg. <laughs> Greg Perry, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, that is gnarly. <laughs> oh. Ooh, this movie knows how to toy with a yaw. Literal toy stuffed animal with us. Uh, ah. they're, not, they're not even doing anything gross yet. <laughs> it just feels that way. Uh, Looks good. What's that mean? <laughs> what a shot. That is a disturbing ass shot. Oh, oh, no. No, the eye on the ground. The eye of the tiger. Do you know what? My assistant's giving me an incomplete file. I'll be right back. This. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Elements, bro. It's always the elements. It's always the elements. You're right about it, man. I laughed at you on the first movie, but you were right. You know, they've toyed around with electrocution a lot, but we haven't actually seen it. Maybe until now. I don't think that's a no, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Use your hands. Use your hands. You can, you have your hands. Use your hands. Oh, the cheer ducks. Wait, what is what is it? Laser coolant. Greg. Do I, do I have to duct tape your eyes open and keep? Greg. <laughs> I don't even like her hands. I hate her hands. No, no, no. Why don't no, you just move your head? Nope, nope, nope. She, she can't move her head, dude. <laughs> oh. There she is, yes. No, the water, the water. Help me! Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. Oh. Is that what an eyeball would look like driven over? Maybe. There's only one way to find out. I literally warned you. About what? That I couldn't do this. Would someone really just smash through the window that easily? I think windows, windows are so tough, aren't they? I don't know. I want you to tell me what you think is going Two on. Deaths. Okay. Two deaths? Okay, That's all right. Crazy. That's a coincidence. Three? Pattern. That's a pattern. Yeah, baby. Catch up. Let him in. You gotta talk to this other sophisticated black guy who knows a lot of stuff. We think we weren't supposed to survive on that bridge. And now something is trying to set it right. That, that's all you got? But what is the entity that provides premonitions to these people? Maybe Tony Todd's really trying to save their lives. So he gives them the premonitions. We all got off the bus, but the ground gave way and Candace fell. Then the bus tipped over. And Isaac, he never got off the bus. He went with it. What are you getting at? The order. First it was Candace. Then Isaac. And Olivia. Who dies after Olivia? You knew. Yeah, I remember that. But we haven't had somebody get skipped. I feel like it's about time. Oh, this is a great setting for a cool death contraption. But what if they get in a fist fight and he doesn't mean to, but he kills Roy? He just dies? No, he kills Roy and then he gets to live. Because they in a fight. Oh, is he deciding right now to kill him? I think he's trying to make a choice yeah. whether or not he should kill him. On accident. You cut my hours. Corporate has operating less than 50% until this whole thing blows over. My bookie ain't operating at 50%. My dumbass kid ain't operating at 50. Let him die. Move, man. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. We gotta move. Hey. 
let him die. Whoa. Oh, he's hung, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, he did die. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That extra little banger. I told you they were going to get in a fight. Yeah, you predict that right. He, he did try to save him, though. But he ended up pushing him to his death. Olivia and Isaac are dead. Who's Isaac? Isaac? Palmer? Tech support? Wasn't he dead already? <laughs> Dennis m- must be next, right? I'm not f***ing around here, Dennis. Anyone could be uh, next. It could be you. Was he next on the list? I think so. Because the three of them made yeah, it to yeah. the end. We weren't supposed to survive that bridge collapse. And so now it's kill or be killed. Literally. What's the girlfriend's name? Olivia. Molly. <laughs> Molly lived. What if we were just watching Molly's vision the whole time? That'd be interesting. But she's not seeing all, or I guess she could be seeing it and not being there. That would be fascinating, yeah. Greg. Even the other movies. Five is a lot of movies for a franchise to be able to make and make them fresh with the same premise. Did you kill him? No, no, I. it was just time. You know, he got in the way and... No, you did, didn't you? You, you saw it coming and then you took his life. He sounds like Tom Cruise. He really does. Yeah. Yes, I killed him. You traded spots. He should have your death. I think there's an order to these deaths. <laughs> he looks so happy. Who wants to be the first to tell me what the hell just happened? Who is it, Sam? Who's what? We needed to save some time. There's Dennis. No shit. <laughs> Ew. Oh, that was a really gross one. Oh, yeah. Damn. Ew. That seemed like a little bit of a throwaway, but I'm okay with it. They're like, this needed to be a solid 90. <laughs> Something saved me on that bridge. Maybe it doesn't want me to die. Oh, my God. He thinks he's invincible. I like this. So if it happens tomorrow or 50 years from now, whatever, as long as we're together, I'll be okay. Why don't you come by after my shift and I'll make you a nice late dinner. Ooh, what if they get on the flight to Paris? There's got to be some cool twists, right? Whoa. (laughs) And he just is one of the passengers who dies. That would be really sick. That might be what it is, Greg. Mm -hmm. Greg! Uh Greg! I hope so. Greg, Greg, Greg. <laughs> we got like 15 minutes to find out if that's what happens. <laughs> Unless death is now suddenly coming for him. No, it's not his turn, bro. Yeah, but these are all like the classic warning signs. For somebody else, maybe. You know how they see signs for somebody, another person? But there's no one else here. Yeah, but it doesn't always isn't always somebody else there. Remember when the other guy died in the shower and he got that floating thing that said the guy's name wrong? Yeah. Or there's been a lot of meat things. I feel like somebody's gonna go through. A... I should stop filming reactions, hungry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want meat. <laughs> nope, nope. Don't do it, man. Unplugged. Smart. Nope. 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 What the fuck? I don't know. I thought he already unplugged it. It was a second plug. If the offer still stands, I'd like to take it. It's yours. That's cool. If he makes it there, you're so right. He's going to get on the plane. That is crazy. (laughs) We don't know (laughs) if that's even what happened. I'm positive, dude. I took the internship. Ooh, his lips are going to be red. Oh, I'm so proud Why of you. aren't they? Tony Todd? Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to cause a problem. He's the next to die. Something with the meat. Do you mind if I come in? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, come in. No, I, I do mind. Is he going to just kill him? Maybe Peter did kill somebody. Oh, he's really? Yeah, I can believe that. And that's why it's this guy's turn. Peter, it's good that you're here. You shouldn't be alone right now. I'm still alive. I mean, I'm next to go, right? It's, it's me and then you, isn't it? Maybe he kills, try to kill Molly. Looks just like Christian Bale from Batman Begins. Take someone else's life. If I could actually kill some stranger. Can't do a stranger. He's gonna try to kill Molly. Or maybe he already did it. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. I went on a walk. Every couple of minutes, an opportunity would just present itself, <laughs> like like clockwork. That girl's. Don't do it, Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> didn't do it yet. I couldn't kill somebody that didn't deserve to die. Yeah, so I love the descent of this guy. And he thinks that Candace didn't deserve to die. Who deserves to die? He thinks Peter for or Sam for saving Molly. He's pissed at Sam. None of us deserve to die then why is it? 
But you deserve to live, Molly. Oh, Molly. Mm. You said it yourself. You don't. Oh, shit. No! He's gonna get fired. This is just like Titanic. Jack's fired, requesting backup. 1026 Washington. Hide. Head all the straight. When you can, go. She didn't seem panicked enough. I mean, she's not the my favorite performer. I movie. spit when I said enough. I just want you to know I know. You are not a killer. I don't want to kill anybody, Sam. I don't want to die yet either. Uh, oh. Don't worry, Molly. Ooh. Is he turning the deep fryers on? Yeah. He's turning everything on. Because death is going to do that for me. I actually really like the choice of what they're doing with this guy. It's the most like psychological turn they've done with the character. Well, we've had it with almost everyone with McKinley and shit, but this guy, like, we liked. Yeah, he's one of the main characters. Yeah. yeah. Don't bring a butter knife to a gunfight. Oh no! Don't oh, kill no. the cop. What's going on? It's oh. Peter. He has a gun. There. Well, at least he took a life. Now you don't need to kill Molly, right? You have Locke's life. You're safe now. She just witnessed the murder of a federal agent. <laughs> we see smart. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh, the deep fryers. The deep fryers. No, no, no. Oh, the gun. Is the oh. gun heats up? Is it going to fire? Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. And somehow he's got to get on the plane to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> or he's just going to arrive at the ending scene of Final Destination 1. It's one of the two. Gun. Tell Candace. I love her. Peter. Oh. Whoa. And now he killed somebody who was saved. So now he lives. Yeah. But then how's he going to live on the plane to Paris? Death always comes back around. Not if you take somebody's life. Then you traded places. It's only if you get skipped. Pay attention to the rules, Greg. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it's gone. You killed him. So does that mean I get Block's life? <laughs> yes, I do. But he wasn't expected to have a long life. Brock? No, you don't get their life expectancy. You just get to live. You trade places. Is this it? Must be. Hey, because do you mind if I take the window seat? Are you kidding me? You're going to make me sit in the middle seat? This is the first movie to not mention the other incidents. It has to be a prequel. Yes! I called it! <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Boom. Unreal. That was the best oh, call man. the whole time. That was really good, Greg. Now I'm impressed with myself. That's why we didn't know the year of that one. Dust in the wind. Dust in the wind. Mm. I knew it would play again. He sees it. There's only one thing I don't like about this, and I'll tell you after. <laughs> Those passengers who got off the plane earlier. A kid had a panic attack and wanted off the plane. He said he had some kind of vision. No. Oh. So any way they can survive this? She dies because she switched seats with him? I mean, I don't think so. Even if they fell out, like, there's no way. Yeah. No! No! Oh, damn. No! Okay. Maybe Death is just coming to collect. Still can't believe he's gone, though. Yeah. No Is kidding. The, the plane's just going to fall in here? The company did an autopsy for insurance purposes. Turns out Roy had an enlarged blood vessel in his brain so big, he's about to burst. They said he'd be dead any day now. So maybe you do take their life expectancy. Yeah. Is that the plane? Yeah. Damn. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Interesting. 
Is there a meaning to these credits? I, I don't think so. I think they're just showing us like the greatest hits. Oh yeah, that one sucked. Oh yeah, that one was gross too. That was awful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Actually kind of like them reminding us this. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, that was awful. Oh, there were no boobies in this movie. Well, there was like booby illusion. You all just be careful now. Huh. All Interesting. right. Interesting. Okay. 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 The one thing I yeah, tell me. don't like about that is... Wow, you're uh, so negative. I know. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not like. We just to, watched a great finale. Not like me to start off on a negative. Okay, I'm what going is to it? start off with a slight tinge of negative. The one thing you don't like about that is... Is I feel like on the plane, that incident where Alex was freaking... I think it was his name, Alex? Mm. When he was freaking oh, out. Maybe I think you thought that it was Alex last time too, right? Okay, whatever. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, What's that actor's name again? Devin Sawa. Devin, Devin Sawa, Sawa, yeah. When Devin Sawa was freaking out, that was such a thing on the plane that I'm like, everyone heard that on the plane. No, you know when you're in the back, he was far away. And that's why they had that woman ask, like, what was that about? I think they were trying to justify it and mask it. I, I think that is, that is something they would have overheard and they probably would have been quiet. I think there would have been a discussion because he was saying the plane's going to explode and all this. It was, he was saying all these things. And when you say some shit like that on a plane, everyone's going to be talking about that. I don't feel like they would have just been like, oh. I guess that was nothing. Like the everyone around, because he could still see them fighting. I he was hear in the, you, but he was you're in the, nitpicking. He was in the proximity of seeing them. He could see them fighting. Here's a nit. Want to pick? No, it? no, 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 man. This he, is this he, is a nit. If, if he is, if he's in the eye line to see them fighting, then he should have heard the conversation. And and to me, that is. That's not a nip. I feel like he should have just, they should have really established her in a completely other cabin or something like that to not have heard it. I don't feel like they didn't establish that they're not in a different cabin. He looked over and he sees he them fighting. Over and he sees, but we don't, like, we're seeing a camera shot of them fighting. We're not seeing his eyeballs see or his ears hear them. You're not wrong, but you're picking at nits. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, what did you think of the movie? Oh, the movie's really good. <laughs> the movie's really good. Um, uh, what do yeah. you think of the characters this time? Um, I like the I like the characters. I mean, look, okay, I look. Let's put this out of the way. It is, and every second of this movie is a massive improvement upon the last one. Yeah, yeah. Like I thought from the very beginning, I was like, okay, this is already a significantly better movie, and. I think the characters overall are better. I love what they did with the friend, Miles Fisher. I love the way they handled him because he, while we've seen shades of that happen with other characters before, we really got to watch this guy transform over the course of the movie. He starts off as the, like this, the plucky, most charismatic, confident one of them all. And you're watching him fully descend in a way that felt natural throughout the movie. That by the point he gets to like killer mode, I really bought it. And it didn't seem like overly telegraphed. Um, but like sometimes some, a choice like that in a movie you can see coming very early on. And to me, it wasn't in, like very predictable. But by the time it happens, it's very believable that it's happening. I think if you're going to, I'm surprised that you say that because while I accept it, I think if you're going to pick Nitz, Jesus, the fact that he is more willing to kill Molly because he says, why do you deserve to live when Molly ain't down shit yeah. and he's more willing to kill her than a stranger. I I thought that was a bigger leap. Okay. Yes. Which I was okay no, with, but I, I'll meet you there uh, on, on the Molly <laughs> thing. I think a lot of that is a, an envy that he was projecting uh, onto, like a, just a pure jealousy he was projecting onto his friend that his girl gets to live and he chose to save her and the whole thing with the premonition. Like, I, I think there's some justification. It still is a leap. Yeah, no, I hear you. And I um, agree there is some justification. Uh, I thought that he did. they did a good job, him and Molly being the, the core couple in this kind of carrying this and all the other characters I was interested in too. So is your understanding that the, you're taking that person's life 
whatever their lifespan would have been, right? That's why he ends up dying on the plane. That's why um, yeah. the other guy dies in the bar at the end. And I think that's why they made it very clear. I think that's why they, they chose to show, uh, I, I don't remember anyone's name, the black guy. Um, what, why they chose what is anybody's name in this? There's Molly and Olivia, his, Sam and Peter Pumpkin Eater. I don't know what the black guy's name was either. We can't look racist, Rock. I don't know what David Coker's Kochner's name. We got to remember the black guy's name. Look, look it up. But I'm not, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna edit this out. We don't remember the black guy's name. I don't remember David's name. Roy? No, Roy was the guy, the white guy who died. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Roy? The guy who the black guy saved. Uh, d- uh, didn't save, killed. Oh, oh yeah, that was Roy. Uh, what was the name of the creepy guy at the? At the uh, I don't massage know. parlor. That's good. We don't know. <laughs> We're f- we've balanced the scales. Do you really scales. not know, or do you pretending not? <laughs> no, we've balanced the scales. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, uh, but I think that's why they established that at the very end to c- to clearly state that's why um, our main guy still died. I don't remember main guy's name. I think that's why they uh, they established Sam. I don't know if that's right. It looks like a Sam. I, but that's why, yeah. Because, yeah, the second he killed his friend, I was like, but the guy was expected to die. Yeah. So, it, it, like, the life expectancy would be short. What do you think of Tony Todd of it all for the, not just this movie, the, the entire series, franchise, except for that, except for the fourth one? tennis ball racket it to you. What, did you, what, was, your, um, what was your takeaway? You can't just take my question, man. I just want to say you up. I've been talking more. Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Equal. Um, I... Just think he has such a presence that he brings so much validity to these movies. That seems so weird, but like he's an icon, and so to even have him, like it, I, I'm not saying that the reason four wasn't good is because he wasn't in it, but for him to be in every other movie and four to be the one that sucks, I don't think that that's a coincidence. No, <laughs> like I I do think that I I wish that there was a little more explanation for him at some point, like why he knows what he knows, or did this happen to him. Maybe we see that in the sixth one or maybe something more to how this is, what he is, what he has to do with death, how this has all come to be. But in general, I just like his presence. Yeah, I love his presence a lot here. Well, he said some interesting things here because he was saying that he's seen this happen before. And this is in the timeline. This is before the first movie. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, how does he know? Did it happen to him? So, yeah, it's it, it's like, damn, this has been going around this guy's life for, sounds like forever. Forever? I, I don't I feel like they should ever really explain it, though. I think keeping it in mystery. And I'm sure there's like a bunch of YouTube videos that break it down and try to Try to explain maybe what his what his background is. But what? How would you feel if the sixth movie was Tony Todd, the prequel, uh, prequel, and him? Um, I would Although not. This is twenty eleven, so that doesn't make sense. I wouldn't like it because if he's the main character, we know he won't die. Yeah, you know, and I think a lot hinges on that mm-hmm. feeling of. Because out of all the movies, only in part two is when when the people survive, right? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Out of five movies, there's only right with the one. barbecue is it? Or, yeah. Well, Clear survived the first one. That is true. But then she didn't survive yeah. anymore. That is true. That is a good point. Yeah. I wonder what how they are going to go about this sixth one because this is such a complete loop, and they did a really good job of relating some of the stories and having them be relevant, keeping it fresh. Bringing us back to the Paris plane, you know what? What's left? What stone is left unturned? I heard someone pitch that it should be on a cruise. Dude, a lot of people die on cruises because, yeah. uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure I am, but something about you can't be charged international waters. Rules are iffy. Nobody's looking for them. They get thrown overboard. I'm mm. telling you, I. That sounds right. I think that Hasan Minaj did a, a episode on cruises. Um, for Patriot Act, whatever. The, the, Sounds plausible. Yeah, the cruise thing, that would be really interesting. And we're stuck there. But then how does, yeah, that would be interesting, though, because you would think they would just stop the cruise, right? Or do yeah. we stay on the cruise? I have no idea, man. Titanic. What did you think of the characters in this one? I definitely dug them. 
but I don't think it's a coincidence that we're having a hard time kind of distinguishing them and remembering some of their names. This was the first one where I, I felt like there was less archetypes. Like the Megan Fox looking girl was kind of similar to like she at first I thought when she was getting out of the car of the guy dropping her off, that this was going to be major breakfast club vibes where she was going to be like rebel outcast yeah. or whatever. You know, I thought we were kind of doing that with the gymnast and all the stuff. But then they were all very similar. You know, they had some turns, but the the gymnast girl, the Megan Fox looking girl, Molly girl, they all had similarities to them. Same thing with main dude, eyebrow dude, <laughs> um, uh, black guy, and uh, there was another guy, right? The pervert guy. No, he the pervert guy was different, but they were all like similar personality types. Yeah. It kind of seemed until until eyebrow dude ch- swi- uh, switched. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, um, like, the other ones kind of rely so much on, like, such strong archetype right. that it makes them distinguishable. But at the same time, I thought that this one, the friend group is the second best to me. To, um, to the third one? T- to the... F- First one? To the first one, in terms of the ensemble mm. of friends. Like, the ensemble of friends, I really bought that they were... Friends. That they were actually... Like when they're yeah, like because they're similar. When that, they're buddying at work and drinking, I'm like, okay, I, I buy them all as friends. I definitely agree with you. It's not a it's not a knock in this movie that I thought that there were some similarities between them, and it was less stereotypical because it was less archetypes. Yeah. But because when you're asking how do I feel about the characters, I think that it is a little harder to distinguish them from one another. Yeah. I wasn't a, I like I think ever, the actors are pretty good and I like the cast overall. You weren't that into Molly. Molly was the one I had the hardest time believing. It, the the problem w- She seemed the most like CW-ish. <laughs> I liked her, but I think that they set her up. They didn't necessarily set her up for success and I think they did this on purpose because when we first meet her, she's breaking up with our main character. So when you see that, you're like, eh, F this girl, even though we don't know him and we don't know yeah. why. And then we find out she's actually doing it because she loves him and she wants him to take this job. Yeah. So it's hard to then kind of like switch back because we've already deemed her to be the villain in our eyes. <laughs> Just shows you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. You don't know about different relationships. But I didn't really think they have... Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner, we don't know what was happening. I thought I liked them, but I didn't... <laughs> It's true. I like them, but I didn't feel like they they had the best chemistry. I hear you. Yeah. I don't think that these movies rely on them. Yeah. They don't. Like, you know, I think they had their priorities and that was not one of them. Yeah. And that's okay. Yes. I do think that this had the most serious tone of them all. Like even though it started as the comedy. And you're like, Yeah, yeah and I love that. I think I think out of all the movies, they the, the the setup here I thought was the strongest because it's really throwing you into their world in this moment in time and not horror world. And then when it takes the horror world, it becomes like super serious, which I really appreciated. But because this movie, because this movie was 90 minutes, but it felt longer. And in some ways that is a good, in a lot of ways, that's a freaking fantastic thing because it, it, it like pacing wise, it it really took its time, and I really appreciated that. And then in some ways, not most, I would say vast majority, but in some little areas, it would kind of feel like it's dragging a bit. And I, I'm not exactly sure which moments here or there we're doing it, but it, I did have that feeling come up. And I do think that the, like the humor especially wasn't clicking with the tone they struck in this film. Like the the humor did not fit. That didn't bother me, but I, I it's not typically a critique I have, and I know that that's something that bothers other people. Um, you know, not everybody's always going to be funny, and I think a lot of times movies try to make themselves lighter. So it it didn't bother me here. I thought the kills were really strong in this. I was super freaked out. I was upset with you yeah. for not fasting forward f- several times. Uh, something about the uh, I guess like office the spa and the eyeball and the yeah. dentist of the previous one now we we know what my ick is so it just it freaks me out people touching you and then you're gonna die yuck 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 um but they did a great job with that the one kill in this one that was just like okay it was the wrench thing 
Where yeah. it's just like, all right, we gotta save some time. It's just he's, he's it done. With, yeah. We're gone, which is fine. But they did a really good at job in this one of making the kills. I want to say realistic. I don't really mean that as much as like I could see my. I felt it in my bones. I was like, oh my god, there's something coming to my eye. Oh my, you know. Well, I think they brought it back to the tangibility that the first one really had, where it, it's not like. Because like you, you could always sort of feel death being like this clever guy creating this like like the flick of a finger and a crazy domino effect, and the death stuff didn't really do that this time around. Like it was still there, um, but there was such dread and tension leading to the execution of the victim that I thought was so well done. Like there was such a deliberate pacing that you could really feel the the suspense. I thought this movie had more dread than the other ones, specifically that emotion. And uh, a, yeah. a doom and gloom, a gloomy vibe over it. Like it felt like, like it's interesting to have like the weather be such a specific thing because you could feel kind of that cloudy weather sadness sort of looming over this whole movie. Completely. And I, I appreciated that underlying melancholic emotion that was sort of permeating the entire film. You're going to hate this, but I'm going to ask you to do it anyway. What is it? Look something up. Rank them. Rank them? Um, I lo- I I really love I I like this one a lot. I would still probably make it third. Okay, so what are you? I would go three, one, five, two, two. four. Yeah, it makes it sound like I don't like two, but I really do. Like, like I I really love this franchise, and I just there's one I don't like out of all five, I... and and I would go three, one, five. But see, there's things about this one that I prefer over part three and part one. That that's what makes it kind of interesting for the that's why I love the franchise, because I'm like, well, there are things in one that I prefer over three. There are things things in five that I prefer over three and one. There are things in two that I prefer over the other one. Like every one of them has something that I prefer over the others. And uh and even though every every one of these movies has the same concept, characters, premonition. Yeah. Oh my God! There's a pattern. Solve the pattern. <laughs> Boom! And and then uh, death at the end. The there is something that they do different per film that I that I really that I that that's why I love this the franchise so much. Um, it's wild yeah. that we're so engaged and we binged these essentially. What's your ranking? I think three, two, one, four, five, four. Oh, this would be the fourth out of them. This would be the bottom of the five. Of the, of the four. Yeah, I'm, I'm not stoked about that because I loved this movie, but I think that's what it was. So we're both with three at the top, but you and I had very different opinions on two. Yeah. Um, And so I almost want to do three, two, four, one, five, but I think you that's just... You put four? So th- sorry, three, two, <laughs> five, three, two, five, one, four is what I almost want to do. Okay. However, I I feel like... I loved one. It's just the longest to go. So that's like, I feel like when I first watched it, I don't think it's fair to put it in the fourth position. I think I should still put it in the third position, which is why this one I think should take the fourth position. When I think about it more, then I'll be able to know if five should be in four or if five should be in three. Yeah. I think this a one, a one, two, a seven, an eight, an eight, <laughs> seven, 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 seven. Get my friend's reference. Friend's reference. Yes, Monica. <laughs> uh, I think. I think for sure this one is the best shot of them all. I would give it the the cinematography, the lighting, the effects, um, just the overall the look of it was, I thought, the, the best looking one of them all. Yeah, I feel like this one had a bigger budget. It also had better technology because later. A lot of times it doesn't amount to it being like the best looking one, though. So a lot no, of that's times, yeah. totally true. I mean, yeah. Wizard of Oz, so... <laughs> There's like a there's a visual there's there's there was uh and I think maybe because the film also took its time a lot more that whoever their DP was on this was just uh just did an excellent excellent job this uh five and three I'd say are the best shot ones of them all. This is interesting. That, <laughs> it's interesting that both you and I like three the best. Yeah, I don't know if that's a popular opinion. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> yeah. You know what I really hate that people do that I just did. I don't like when people say that their own point is interesting. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's interesting that, and, and then I say something like, "I think I'm so f- interesting." You know what? So, you know something interesting, Greg. What, you what are, I'm about right? to say. 
interesting. <laughs> usually, I think you feel like that's a common thing people say. Yeah, and I don't you like when they go they like, say. you know, what's interesting? This thing. Yeah. yeah, but I say it a lot. It's what I have to say. Who knows what's interesting? Maybe you think it is. Let us know. Uh, one more shout out to Craig Perry. Thanks for watching. Shout out to you guys, all you rejects at home. Special shout out to you, super sexy rejects. Uh, most importantly, special shout out to one particular super special sexy. Not today. No. <laughs> I really got to go to the bathroom for the last hour and 20 minutes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Appreciate it. We'll see you for the next Final Destination whenever that comes. Later.